Hi, I'm Thiago. This is Dragos. Let us give you a very quick demo of Duckly. So here you're seeing Duckly, the, the, the video call, the web app that we have. Let me show you the menu. So on the menu, you can see all the rooms that you can have on a team. So your team can talk simultaneously in different places and also all the members that you have. If I want to invite someone, it's very easy. For example, I can go and click here, invite, and I can share uh, a visitor pass. Basically, people can come to join, but they are not going to be joining our team or I just invite them to with just like a simple link. So that's super cool. Another nice thing is that um, the URLs to talk on Duckly are very simple. So it's just like duckly.com slash whatever your team name is, um, making it very easy to share and join. So it's very easy to, to understand. Um, I can see here that Dragos actually already sharing his code. So let's check this. Um, so I can follow, I can type here in real time as well. Not going to make his code ugly, um, but I'm just following his code from the web. But what I want to do is to be able to code with him uh, from ID. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm on VS Code now, um, and I'm going to search for Duckly. And I'm going to install the extension. You could be installing also for any JetBrains IDs and be able to do pair programming with people using different IDs. So that's quite cool. Um, so here on the bottom, I can already see that uh, we saw the Duckly. So I'm going to open it and click to log in. I already have a, a Duckly account. And this is going to open a URL to link my Duckly account to my ID. It's connecting now. Yeah, it's connected. I can close this one. And I'm going to join the coding session. I'm joining now. So now I'm following the code also from my uh, ID, right? So it's the same full feature ID that I have, but I'm following the code that uh, Dragos is sharing real time and I can type within uh, and, and be work within in, in parallel, right? And he could be sharing different folders, his whole, whole project. Right now he's just sharing this file, but he could be sharing the, the anything that he wants and, and we'll be working uh, together. Right, so that's how you share your code. Um, one last thing that I would like to share is how we can do co-browsing, basically how I can share any tab that I have open and he can see that. So let's go to Hacker News. And I have like the Chrome extension for on Duckly installed, so I can see this little widget here. And I'm going to click, click Share on tab. And now, um, if I go jump on the call, let's hide the, the code and let's maximize this. I can see Dragos cursor here, right? So we, I can be scrolling with him. Uh, he's actually typing here on the search bar. And if I go to the Hacker News, I can also see the thing, right? Like I can also see him. So in this way, we can be browsing together, although he's not logged in. Oh, he just clicked to check this Amazon uh, News. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's co-browsing. That's one of the other features that we have for, for Duckly. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.